Hello, Scorpio. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of November 6th through the 13th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, love reading. I feel like secrets are getting ready to come out, guys. Scorpio, love reading for 11, 6 through 13, 2017. What's going on, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? Love reading, love reading, love reading. Okay. So, you guys could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody really cherishes and cares for this relationship. But it's a general reading. It can go both ways. Yeah, so I feel like somebody is starting a new relationship and it's starting to blossom into something beautiful. Okay? All right, yeah, so if somebody feels this about you, please be good. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like somebody found you and they think they're that you are the most wonderful person in the world. And it seems like you guys are building a wonderful relationship, a wonderful, very caring relationship. You know, somebody has found what they're looking for in you. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like, you may have some jealous friends, but we're going to keep going. Because cause this could be jealous friends, but this could also be this person's friends trying to uh, just um, basically promote y'all being together. All right, let me clarify this. What is this guy for? What is this guy for? What is this guy for the Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio love reading? Wow. Okay, so it seems like this person. No, no, no. These are your friends. Yeah, it seems like your friends may be um, being a little negative because they think this person is uh, just out for sex, okay? But this person that you're dealing with really cares for you, so it's not like that, okay? All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, you got two. All right, so it seems like if this didn't happen, it's getting ready to happen pretty soon. And it seems like... This person may be changing themselves to be what you want them to be, Okay? So I feel like you might have met this person. I don't know. I don't know if you met them there, but I keep hearing Jim. So it's something going on with a gym, or it could be named Jim. But I'm feeling like it's a working out gym. Get down. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I feel like this person is like looking at themselves to make their self better for you. Okay. But I feel like you're not even like thinking about it this hard. I feel like you like this person, but this person is like, you know, I didn't met the woman or the man in my life, you know? Okay. So it seems like whatever the situation... I don't know. This is making me feel like you may want to listen to your friends a little bit, but not too much. Because this person may be infatuated with you because of the physical um, aspect of, of your relationship. But this person does want to try to start something better with you. Okay? So it's like, don't cut your friends off completely. Because they're not like completely off the wagon. But they are making it worse than what it is. You know? All right. Yeah, but this person really likes you. They really want to care for you. You see, it's like a new beginning right here. Like, it's the start of a relationship. And here, it's like, you know, the relationship is blossoming. 
okay or this could be no that's it yes yeah, so this is start relationship and they want the relationship to blossom and i feel like it can do that so it's like listen to your friends but don't get too deep in there you know all right what's going on with the scorpio 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 love reading love reading what's up with the scorpio love reading Scorpio love reading. Scorpio love reading. November 11th through the 13th. November 11th through the 13th. Yeah. So it seems like this person may want to marry you, but you're like, uh-uh-uh, not right now. I really don't know you like that. But this person does want to go the, the long way with you, okay? All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Love reading, love reading, love reading. Sorry, sorry, I, I keep shuffling, but it just feel like... I ain't ready yet. <laughs> All right, so the oh Jesus, so it seems like this. Uh, there's some stalking going on here. Okay, so uh, this person may be infatuated with you. Oh my God. Yeah, this person is addicted to you. They're infatuated and uh, they're obsessed. Wow. Okay, so they may just be trying to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you. Okay. I don't know. I'm feeling like real strong feelings coming at you, but just like light feelings come coming back. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, yeah. So this person is stalking you. They're addicted to you and they want to get married to you. But I feel like it's been too soon for all this. If you didn't meet this person, you're going to meet them soon, okay? Holy macaroons. Okay, so we got the page of... But I don't, I don't feel like there's any devious thing going on. I just feel like really attached, clingy person. But I like that kind of stuff. But I feel like just the energy I'm getting off you from these cards, you don't like clingy people like that. Or the person that you're dealing with, you know? But that's just me. All right, so we're going to do the page of swords first. Where are those swords? Swords, swords, swords. Hmm. All right, so it's reversed, and it says, um, Sometimes indicates a diligent person who is watching the actions of others or trying to find out actions of someone else, especially regarding love, very intensively. So somebody is stalking the heck out of you. Or you may be stalking the heck out of somebody else. All right, so now we have the devil card. And that... Mm, let me see. All right. The devil is upright. It says, a time of violence and abuse, physical or sexual, mental or substance, thoughts of self-destruction and regret. People may, uh, people who seek power and freedom from others, bad person, bad situation, evil intent. So with this right here, is I feel like this person is very addicted to you and stuff just got real because it's like if this person see you doing something that you shouldn't be doing while you're talking to them i think they might get a little bit aggressive a little too aggressive you ask me okay but it's like as long as you don't cheat and do nothing crazy then you know this person will be just fine for you but other than that they you know not too good okay so here we have the Ace of Staffs. Ace of Staffs, Ace of Staffs. Be careful, this person's gonna try to impregnate you. Okay, a chart, card of childbirth, new projects, and business ventures. A great time to start a new business, business ventures prosper, new career, childbirth possible. So it's basically like it's a time of new everything, new love, new job, whatever, but in this reading, I really feel like this person may be trying to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you so y'all can get married. Okay. So, this was looking cute at first, but now it's starting to get a little bit scary. Okay. 
I don't know. But let me know. All right, so we got the hierophant reverse. You may be taken advantage of in an unconventional approach. I feel like this is this. I feel like somebody may try to like take you out and get you drunk that you're dealing with dating and possibly try to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you, you know. But it could be either or. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.